you may ask how to implement DMARC. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. Um, you want to make sure that you deploy both SPF and DKIM for your domains. Um, we discuss how to deploy SPF and DKIM in some of our previous uh, parts of this course. You want to ensure that any mail servers that are being used by your domain align with those published SPF and DKIM records. So if you're only sending from Office 365, it's really simple. Um, you just have to make sure that the Office 365 include is in your SPF record and you have to make sure that those two uh, DKIM records are published and you have DKIM signing turned on for your domains uh, in 365. If you're using other sources, it gets a little more complicated but you just have to make sure that those other sources are in your SPF record and you have to make sure that the other sources that are sending email uh, as your domain, uh, whether they be, you know, the survey monkeys or constant contacts or whatever, you just have to make sure that those sources are configured so that they're, uh, that, that you have a, a DKIM include set up or a DKIM record, sorry, set up for those and that those sources are signing, uh, your emails with DKIM signatures. Uh, when you're first implementing DMARC, we recommend publishing a DMARC record with a none flag, which basically is instructing a receiving mail server to not reject or quarantine the messages. All it's going to do is collect information about uh, the sources that are sending those messages. Um, and later on, uh, if you want to, you can actually review the reports that you get from those domains and uh, and actually act upon them. Um, in general, though, when you're in 365, just the fact of publishing that DMARC record uh, helps a lot with making sure that the the, the spoofing is is prevented. So even those last two steps there about reviewing DMARC reports and uh, turning on that quarantine flag after issues are addressed, those may not even be necessary for your organization.